this game with, with four catches this season, I'm sure you probably would have wanted more opportunities. How were you able to stay mentally locked in and ready for this chance? Over there, just keep keep staying strong with God. You know, he don't, he don't want that at least the way for me. And he always been leading the way. And whenever stuff goes like that in life, like how you said, four catches for four games, it's just, you never know how his plan may go. It's like a marathon, so you just gotta keep trusting and running with it. And today, I guess he, he blessed me with some great opportunities and so Looks like the coaches gave you some opportunities though to get the ball your hand in different yep. ways, not just obviously you know running routes but getting your hand behind the line yep. of scrimmage too. Yeah, we've been prepping that the whole week. Coach so Long been saying like just get ready for the it's like a play that we have called for. I can't say it because you know like give us a play, but you just say just get ready for it and just loop outside and just go make a play and I did. So it's blessing enough to have it. Talk about this week. You know, just whenever your opportunities are uh, called and like how oh, like three guys went down, you just got to be ready to step up and be that man to make plays. And I was blessed enough to be that person and just thank you for it. You know, they, they dropped to a cover two Tampa, so I've seen that like usually the middle of the, the hashes are wide open. and. I thought he was gonna. If you see, I came back down for a little bit and I went across. I thought he was gonna hit me there, and I seen the two Mike and Will go out. So I, I just went back inside and then made a nice catch and score. I seen a lot of green grass, but I seen like one guy and CJ was enough to get in front of him. They're like deep point to go out that way to the middle of the field, and I just did my thing and score. You take us through your uh, celebration. Oh, it was a so it's a TikTok. I don't know if you guys have TikTok, but it's like a guy he like shotguns. So not knowing because I don't drink, I just did it. It was like a cool selly. So all the all the wide receiver groups and old line say you have to do it when you score. So I did it because the, so the story was I was just you see I flex. I was getting all lit and I seen a beer on the on the, on the front. I, was like, oh, I gotta do the selly and then I did it. <laughs> the first time I just flex. I was just blessed because it's been a long time been an angel. In two years, I think last time I scored was our state championship game at Fisher Bowl, November 26. Cause you have some other celebrations out there too. Don't you have like the surfboard too? Yeah, you see on the sideline. Yeah. See you go last year. <laughs> but then somebody grabbed me, and ruined my silly. Bro. <laughs> How much did y'all focus this week on just finishing better after the way the USC game, game went? Cause the second half was a clear turnaround from a week ago. Yeah, you just you just gotta um, coach. He emphasizes on just how to respond to adversity <laughs> and just just keep. Um, it was like a message that um, Run DMC came in. He talked to us, the rapper guy. He said just, you know, just um, a lot of people hated on him and the way he and fight that adversity was just coming together. And that's how we kind of just took it in, like, with, like, our team to just stay together and then we should be victorious in this today. That's your guy, First off, it's a blessing, you know. It's just, it feels great to, because you know, I, like I said, just shine on the big stage and all the hard work I put in day in and day out. It's just all shows, and I just believe that. What's going through your mind as well goes down and that you really have to step up enough? You know, first I felt like, like bad for him because like, he's like the number one uh, receiver for us, and like he's the one that make plays too. So I just, as we went to the sideline, coach just said, next man up, we gotta make, you guys, you just gotta be that person to make plays and. I'm um, fortunate enough to be that person. How do you really use this as a building block? Well, uh, just, I kind of just, you know, just forget about it. Next game, Rutgers is our mindset right now. And just, you know, just try to maybe do the same thing that game and just go from there. Yeah, November 26. It's just always um, because, I guess, my junior year in high school in Hawaii before I transferred to Vegas. Um, scored and it was just always a blessing to have to, to score and like my parents my parents was there so like I always score in front of my parents I've never scored no touchdown without my parents and I, I kind of just always remembered that since they because they didn't come it was in Reno Nevada and they weren't able to come there so I just always remember that the next time I scored my parents back in here. Too bad it wasn't here my grandma was here though if anything.
uh, Braden mentioned on that second score that you know he actually noticed something in the coverage and actually changed the play at Audible. Yes. What was your reaction, you know, when that play was changed and what it meant to kind of execute that? First, my mindset was blocking. It was a run play. Yeah. I was like, okay, I got to get leverage uh, just to, to run outside. So I was like, okay, I got to get leverage. And then they checked. I seen him at 10 come down. I was like, oh. So he checked and he didn't give us the signal all storm. I was like, okay, I'm ready for this. So, you know, and they played. Just this past like how everybody's saying, I was having four catches and not really that much touching, and just to get in the end zone like a stretch relief and just happy enough to make my mom and dad proud. They called me after, they was all jumping around at in so I was all happy. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you watching. You guys know Sumo? You get that steak shrimp scallop. Have a good one, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.